Yes. But I'm pretty disappointed, you know, because I wanted to try out the blow poke. <laughs> it's there. I can see it, okay. but, you know, there's one thing. Well, you'll, we get, can... you'll get to try it. Right. And what you want to do is you want to s inhale. Right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh-huh. That's so you can the key. <laughs> This place is a disaster. Yes, it is, dear. I know. Yes, what? So is it a disaster? Too much junk. Make Christmas trees. Yep. Hey, Christmas trees. Did you get those taken, taken down, down Mark? Did I just get them taken down? Mm -hmm. No. Really? <laughs> I noticed you're blowing your nose there. What's the reason for that? It doesn't sound like boogers. It sounds like snot. What's this ratio to from what's this booger to snot ratio? <laughs> that's a uh, to move the. Yeah, but where's the where's the button that says off? That probably applies to something else. Go in here, maybe. No. And just go down Sylvania Avenue. Might be better. So they need to so tell me. You just, okay. you just exceeded. I don't know if that's the right word. Anyway, you followed her order. Oh, I always follow her. Mom order. issued an order. I did not. I said, why don't <laughs> Whoa, well, you? how's that not an order? That I was said, expressed. Why don't you? I didn't as say an go order. Down it wasn't something. a request. Wait, is it, did you phrase it as a question? Yeah. I misheard, or I was right. You're not always right. A review of the camera will will reveal whether I was wrong or right. You're gonna be wrong. Either way, the tone was an orderly tone. No, I said, "Han, why don't you go down Savannah Avenue?" Because, because actually, you got so far far to come back. I think, I'm like, with, me. I think that within a marriage context, orders are often phrased as questions, I aren't they? I Which always do whatever <laughs> I'm told. Number, see, he uh -huh. didn't... <laughs> All right. Mom, I say it's an order because Dad did not hear it as a request. He heard it as an order. No. And he process, processed it as an order. Yeah, you need to, and he followed it! You need to... Um, Stop commenting? <laughs> yeah, making... Stop talking? <laughs> Making assumptions. Making assumptions. I'm not making, I'm just making observations. Always look busy. Yes. It's figures. How long has it been since it snowed? Because according to Brad... It hasn't snowed, really. I mean, this is nothing. So it's pretty typical that the day I arrive... Yep, it starts snowing. Well, Snow to begins to fall. I'll, I'll get out here and turn in then. Okay. Smell the wood smoke. Yeah. You're at work. You need to blow your nose, and you blow it, and you're afraid that maybe there's like. No, you look at the mirror, make sure there's nothing. Okay, so you always check the mirror. 
you remember when Dad started putting droplets of Ortega taco sauce onto the nachos? You remember that? Me too. And it's like, once you go there, you can't go back. You agree? It's true. And that's like this dangerous cycle. And you're, you know, you're going down that same road with the banana peppers. Next thing you know, you're going to be putting banana peppers on everything. <laughs> Spicy. He puts Tabasco sauce on everything. Everything. You see? That's exactly what I'm talking about. So you know gross. why? Because it, it started food. with one thing. And then it just, it grew. So what's the craziest thing you've seen him put Tabasco on? They put it on... Uh, and now you're saying they. Well, him and other guys will use this Tabasco sauce, too. So all, how many Tabasco freaks are you working with? They don't put it on everything, but what are you saying the craziest thing? And they, they put it on popcorn. Oh, my God. They'll, now, are they, they, are they dipping fish. it? <laughs> are they dipping each individual popped corn? No, they'll just, like, sprinkle it over it all. Pour it over the pop. And, and, and then their whole view of popcorn has changed because when they reach in, they're hoping to find, they're hoping to land on one that's Got benefited the from the dri the, dri the drizzling. Yeah. This means good? Okay. Well, it's not good. All right. <laughs> you saw him do it just the other day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the nailing? Actually, he was... I just saw him with the blue you know, out his mouth and up his nose. Oh, okay. And then he... I'll just take more. You ready to go? Ready to go. Cereal is prepared early. Milk is ready. And it, this has sat here untouched for the last 10, maybe over 10 minutes. And his dad retired into the reading room. Now he's back, ready for the cereal. Well, I mean, I'm just curious why you prepare the cereal. Let me? You prepare the cereal. Yeah. Pour it. Into a bowl. Yes. But you don't eat it right away. No. Just let it sit for a while. Well, you want it's it, not, you want it's it, not. You want the, the muesli to settle? No. What was the, Just uh, have a routine. Just how you do it. It's part of your routine. Yeah. I understand. Okay. No, I've never really, you know, I've witnessed your routine for a while. Oh. So I'm just mm -hmm. getting a good glimpse of it. you got to get up early. <laughs> yeah, I know you. It's a 542. Um... I suppose that's fairly early. Any sugar going in? Mm. Any honey? No. So all the, the honey. sweets are all built in there. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so it looks like See you're all ready to go. Yeah, I'm ready to go to work. Okay. I got my... What did you go, what I did you decide my... with there? I what did you go with? Which one? My friend wrote. I don't know. That's going to be substantial. Up. I'm on my way. See ya. No, no, don't let it hit me. I'm ugly. <laughs> Careful. All right. The car's already running. Oh, yeah. Did you hear me come out? Boy, well, you saw me come out. I, I don't like driving a cold car. No.
Okay. All right. See you soon. Drive careful. All right. Where are we? Well, we're at the Franklin Park Mall. I don't think it's Chris of Green Sport Coat. I don't think that's what it's called. It is now. You know, it used to be Westfield. But they changed it back because people couldn't get used to Westfield. That was their official reasoning. Yeah. People can't get used to it. Right. Therefore, change the name. Well, it was always Franklin Park. For some reason, when they made it bigger, they added on. They changed it to Westfield. Can we be on camera? <laughs> sure can. How you guys doing? Hey, scrap it up. Check out my music. <laughs> Let me get the store for you. It'll get it itself. Sanitizer. I think that's appropriate in public. The soap wouldn't work in there. Publicly. So, this is not lotioning, this is lotioning. sanitizer. Publicly sanitizer. To get rid of all germs. That's what I was thinking as you got this face on. Okay, so we're all going now. You, hey, do not touch my camera. Do not ah. videotape that garbage. Honey, look. No. Look at that brazier. So, you, so you're saying I have shopped for brazier? I don't know if you have not. Or are you saying if I've shopped for braziers without a blindfold, you would be upset? Is that your point? I'm not making a How point. How can I shop? Huh? No. Can we, can, we no. Go through, can we go through the brazier section though? We can though? go home. Can we walk through? Chris. The panties? Mom? <laughs> Stop. I just want to see what's new. No. In the panty what? world. Stop. Stop it. I don't want to set off any alarms. I don't want to be bringing it back in. I don't want to be risking my eyes <laughs> by trying to dismantle it like Had enough of them all then? I did. Did you have enough? Yeah. It doesn't take much to have enough of them all. Is it seeing the people that's kind of exhausting, no, or is it the walking? The walking. <laughs> no, that'd be too late. That's fine. That's okay. We're just checking. Uh, that'll be fine. Thank you. We'll be there. Okay, bye. They could do 9 if we wait until 7.30. That's too late for Joan. Everybody. So, that won't work. Do you have one more? I'm fine. Do you feel disconnected? When I sit in the back, I always feel disconnected from the, <laughs> no. the front passenger's conversation. I feel sort of <laughs> is isolated and alone.
Do you feel like that? I'm fine with it. Good. You're fine with it. Okay, so you're saying you do feel the isolation. No, no I'm, I don't feel the but isolation. But you're not bothered by the isolation. Well, maybe that's right. Okay. Are you going to get out? Let me get the door for you. Oh, it's the first time in you're, history. You're too slow. I've got the door for my mother. <laughs> you're too slow. Every she time. Said. Yeah, he's too slow. We don't want to be so in many this years. video here. Thank you. <laughs> Happy birthday. What's this? It's birthday card. Cards? Thank you so much. Is this your birthday today? No, uh, not quite. Hi. Hi there. Uh, okay. Is there anything to drink? Uh, water will do fine. Water's good? Yeah. Is this going to be one check? Yes. Okay. Just trying to get a little shot of your, your sweater. Oh. I mean, your scarf. Oh, okay. Okay. It's quick to take that scarf off, I noticed. On that wall. Yeah, well, it's kind of itchy. Itchy. Happy birthday. Thank you. I'll be back with some bread for you. Ooh, look at that. Fancy glass. Fancy glass. You just have to be careful with that one. Really? What is it? A multivitamin and sandwich. Some tea. A multivitamin. Feel about what I've done here. You want to step in? Oh, it looks great. Thanks. Now, if you look down, if you look down, you see that I've left the uh, box spring an unattractive green color exposed uh, due to how I've arranged the sheets. Looks fine to me. Okay, a couple questions for you. You ready? Mm -hmm. First, I hope you don't mind. I took the liberty to look through your. your I not really a closet. No. But you've got like a rod here. Right. And you've got some clothes hanging on that rod. That's correct. Now I noticed this inside. Yeah, you want to hold that up, honey? <laughs> Just hold that up. Show that. <laughs> why is that in your. Why is that on the rod? Um, I think. This was given to me when I worked at Dan Rogers Sporting Goods. Would you? What would? Uh, and at the how, time, how I would said, you okay, characterize well, your oh, attitude toward that? Piece I'll of, wear that to the gym, but I never did wear it. That's why it ended up in there. What is your attitude right now as you look at it to that piece of of, of clothing? It's just a it's a sweat top. So you're very calm about it. Yeah. Because it makes me angry. <laughs> no. This. There's a question about whether the door is closed. Clearly not, because I made the open it. No. But it's closed.
Hey. But you're sitting in the room that shall not be sat in. <laughs> when it's sun shining, we like to sit in this room. You're actually sitting in here. Yes, we are. We're actually sitting in here. And you look reasonably comfortable. Yeah. We have been in here for... Are you timing yourselves? No. No, we're not. Oh, look at this silly looking thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> A silly looking thing, Brad. That's what you've been referred to by your own father. Well, I, I, probably... I didn't really say that, did I? Yep. <laughs> I'm sure I got that comment. Oh, I should have done. With the hat. Yeah, no I, kisses. I would have. Mm -hmm. It's okay, I don't think That was a good. Uh... Hey, I'm Get past the thing. Lounging about, huh? Yeah. We were doing our Bible study in here. We just got a little bit. Do you believe they're in here? You believe they're in here? Yeah, Mom's got. She wants to be in the sun. Uh -huh. Got a thing for sun. She gets. She's never, never want. Right. For anyone who uh, needs it. I got them. this. Uh, Cindy's mom bought this for me last year. Mm. Is it cold out? Not too bad with this one. Uh, you got this happy, happy picture. Isn't that a happy picture? That is so happy. I know. Are they having fun? Who could have a problem with that? Yeah, Why, for instance, is this woman behind the girl in the shade? Because you know, she's, she's a dark figure. Can you tell she's an older She's woman? sort of haunting the picture. Helping the little girl because she's too little to hold the sheet up by herself. She's just a little girl. She, two this, years old. No, this woman back here, the tramp. Look at a tramp straight off the, uh, the streets. Doesn't belong in this environment. You know, she's, she's, she's normally slumped in the corner of a subway train station in New York. Christopher, stop it. And here she is, way out of her element. She has no business in this orchard. And she's right behind that girl, holding the girl by the arm. What is she going to do? Uh, I've got, I bought croissant. This whole scene Same is in one. danger. Oh. Jimmy Dean. That's my point. Oh, yeah, already made up frozen. See my point? Yeah. I haven't heard a thing you said. What? <laughs> <laughs> so get some lipstick on. Exactly. I'm all done. <laughs> oh, what's funny? Yeah, oh, Christopher's gonna get himself a selfie stick so he can take pictures of himself. <laughs> <laughs> and his headband. <laughs> and his curly coat. <laughs> Make that face, sir. <laughs> Here's the so traditional some... birthday toast made oh, yes. since Christopher was a little boy. Every birthday, he got birthday toast. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Christopher. Happy birthday to you. Thank you very much, Mom. And, uh... Way to go, little boy. I always <laughs> feel a little... What? I mean, you did... Ma Mom, you talk about this like you only did this for me. I don't think that's No, true. we did it for all of them. I never got them to You did, too. But why didn't Brad... Brad I mean, Brad, look at, look, at his, look at his face. I, I mean, he know. looks pretty... I never got no toast. He yes, looks pretty did. down, Mom. Because he didn't get no toast. I've had that thing since you were a little boy. You all got toast. You don't remember? What'd you say, Brad? I don't get any toast. I don't want any toast. <laughs> oh, that sounds like sour grapes. Have you ever heard the story of sour grapes? No, I've never heard that. The fox? Never. See, the fox wanted the grapes. And the fox jumped up high as he could. Could not reach the grapes. I don't care. He redoubled his efforts. Took, took some time to rest. 
Jumped as high as he could, couldn't reach the grapes. Doesn't give up. Makes a third try. As high as he can. Just misses the grapes. I don't think this is the right story for Sour Grapes. As he walks <laughs> away, he says, They were probably sour anyway. That's not the right so story. that's what you're doing. You're saying they were probably sour. You're looking at me eating this delicious toast. <laughs> You're wishing it was you. Just eat your toast. You're wishing you had happy birthday toast. Mmm. Oh. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much, though, for the happy birthday message, but it did sound quite hollow. <laughs> Maybe it's just the echo in the uh, room. That's just from Chris, you know. No, it's the echo in the room. The acoustics weren't right. We'll, we'll it's not you your fault. Back. We'll let you get back to work, bud. He's not working. Okay. See you, bud. Yeah, he has a drill this weekend. Right, see you. Bye. This is the birthday toast. I don't want Brad. It's not my birthday. It was yesterday. So you it, were, I didn't see you yesterday to get your birthday toast. I did see you last night. You could have brought it in a bag. <laughs> In a bag. Mm -hmm. This is Brad's birthday toast that he doesn't bag. remember, but he got. I never got any birthday. He got birthday toast every year. You're every delusional. year. No, I have had this thing since you were a little kid. You all got birthday toast. No, I got birthday pancakes. Well, whatever. It had birthday stamped in there. Nice enormous booger, and you know, why don't you get a picture of that? <laughs> oh, this is probably that spider. <laughs> Yeah, he's coming. He is, he's he's a spider. It's, it's still there. Good <laughs> grief, that's disgusting. Hey, hey. <laughs> is that right, Mom? Did he get a happy I birthday used, pancakes? I might have used the stamp in the pancakes. Yeah. Well, what's the difference? Pancakes or toast? I know, but There's don't you... There's a big difference. Don't you, There's a big toast. difference. You still got happy uh, birthday stamped in something. Maybe you know what I think is a good idea to do today, Mom? Use this machine. I want to pass that birthday thing down to Sarah so she can... Use this machine right here. For all it's worth, Mom. And... Bring some necessary warmth and love. Additional. Not that there isn't always already a lot of warmth and love in the house. But one way to bring in more, and I think Brad will back me up on this, is an animal. <laughs> I just said that the other day. He said that the other day. Okay, so you're with me. Alright, now are you with me? that it needs to be a short, red-haired dachshund. I definitely do not agree with that. Oh! This really irritates me. I, I really <laughs> can't... Pain I cannot listen to she that. She was a horrible dog. You are a monster <laughs> and should no, not be dog, allowed to speak. That dog was a monster. Oh. Uh, she was not good with children. She was not a good Who dog. cares? She's a horrible well, dog. Well, I care because... A dog no. cannot be judged based on whether it how it deals yeah, with they, children. Yeah, that's what it's there for, to be good. Now we have good. small children. We had a dachshund. We're, we're not going to get another dachshund. Why would you not get the best dog because that can be the gotten? Dog. There are far greater dogs. Like what? Well, for one, you're going to want to get a rescue because they need to be No! Rescued. That's exactly what you don't do! You've never seen the dog whisperer clearly. You need to just... The dog, he's full you? of rescues. He's all rescues. No. He doesn't go He red told dogs. people, do not rescue dogs. What? He, that's basically, his underlying message no. was, you morons think you're good do-gooders, and you go to the rescue shelters, and you get dogs that yeah. are mentally, essentially handicapped, and that's why your lives have been yeah, miserable yeah. for two years. That's his point, every time. People mistreat some of them. In their previous life, before they were ended up in a shelter. Never, ever get a dog <laughs> from a shelter. 
Get a dog that has papers. No. That is purebred. Actually, they say mutts make the best dogs. No, that's a myth. Dad, no, no but comment. Really no sense I have a comment. Are you ready to acknowledge? I have, I have a comment. All right. There will be no dogs in this house again. I guess that says it all right there, buddy. Were you joking about that? It was semi joking. I, I wasn't really serious. But you're just trying to sound. He doesn't want a dog. He was, I just don't want a dog at this point. You were just trying to sound tough. He was being silly, just like right? you. You said there will be I'm no being, dog I'm, to quote what you said. And I think this, I know what I said. I think this is an exact quote. There will be no dog in this house. What he said. What he said. I, I would say if you'd made a graph about 80, 85, 90 percent of the dogs and the dog whisperer were shelter dogs. That were acting all crazy because they were had psychological scars from their past being beaten and abused. Well, sure, that's why you've got to take them. That's why you don't take them. It's like just punching your stomach in the head. <laughs> and she emerges, face covering like a star. No makeup. Mm -hmm. Hair's wet. Couldn't look any worse. Did, I, did you think about drying your hair? I'm going to dry it. But you're waiting. I'm waiting. Why are you, are you waiting? Did you have coffee? Yeah. What'd you do? Huh? Did you just call? Yeah. Let's go. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Chris. Hi. Hi, Chris. Oh, okay. <laughs> Here we go. Mom, what'd you have? I had Mongolian beef and it was very good. You're going to be tasting the yeah, fat All the day. majority of the day. All Dad? Day. Oh, I had some. How'd you feel about the rabbit? Oh, it was good. Mm hmm. Had a little rat in it, too. Uh -huh. um, had some, I had some chicken and some. They gave you some. The, did they give you the feet? Uh, wasn't any feet. I had a little bit of. I don't know. No, I mean, in a little box, the feet. Come on, Brad. What happened, now, Brad? I've been what down, pushed you? onto the floor. <laughs> How did you enjoy your meal? A okay. No, no turds or anything in there. You're <laughs> weak. A total disgrace. Andrew, how how uh, appalled are you at this point? No good call. On, on a scale of one to ten, what's your? It, hit the ground there. Oh, it didn't though. It's obvious the, the, it doesn't. The tip, the tip did. No, it didn't. Yeah, just the tip. Did. That is a horrible, horrible call. I mean, what does a man that have to do to keep it off the ground? We're in the man cave. I'm not surprised the way that Turn that stupid camera off. Stuart, such a valuable part of this office. Dad, this man cave was in total disarray. What's that? This, well, I know because we we had to re we had to rearrange all the furniture down here. We did it because not maintain. Oh, oh, oh. oh, it's out! Oh, oh. oh. See, now that is why a terrible call is terrible. That was a 20 yard gain for the Panthers that turns into a sack and score for Denver. Oh, so it's not that guy's fault for fumbling. It is, but that's a game changer when you make a terrible call. It changes the whole game. Yeah, I was going to call the whole thing into question. 
Let me know from the controversy. Brad, very bored. The Super Bowl game. He's tired. But not because of the game. Christopher hasn't right? stopped talking since it started. I'm just saying. Chatty, chat, chat, chat. <laughs> All so the time. He chats, chats, chats. I'm just. He has try, actually I'm diarrhea of the mouth. Right <laughs> I tried to restore restore some order. Diarrhea. It's flowing constantly out of his some mouth. Balance. Yeah, you need to listen to one of those commercials here about the diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> and Andrew. <laughs> I'm just trying to restore some balance. Move to the expectations coming in. Oh, Cam Newton. Oh. 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 This is the Super Bowl game. The game is over. All three songs are here. That was a, that was a pass. Oh, you think they're going to give him the tuck rule? Oh, the ball was going look, at, look, in the background, just like uh, Chris Martin of uh, Coldplay earlier. Uh, a background player, a fiddler, in an alley, who is in over his head. He does not belong in this field. He has oh, done wow. nothing. He looked so fierce and flew so fast. The tortoise hid behind some trees and felt quite weak behind the knees. Because I have a routine. It's part of your routine. I have a routine. I use a daily devotional mm -hmm. called The Heart of the Matter. Always this one? Well, it's been using it, you know, this is a 365 day, oh. um, which we're not through with it yet, so, but. Why, why 365? Well, it's, it's just a daily. Um, no, I mean, why that, why that number? <laughs> why that number? There's, how many days is there in a year? Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. This book has 365. Daily devotionals. Daily devotionals. Right. Okay. Anyway, so, February 8th. That's today. Let me confirm that. <clears throat> well, my computer says February 8th, but again, I spent a lot of time in China. But I think it might be the 8th. Okay, it is the 8th. All right, anyway, it's the 8th. Anyway, so, so you turn it, tells, the eighth. it tells you, it gives you a scripture to read. Oh, okay. Okay, so, and I, I generally don't read this. Until you after save I, that. You I save that. I save that yeah. and read the scriptures first. My first question is uh, has to do with the crushed grape soda. So is that step one in this ritual? Yeah, it's like gelato. We it's fetch a, one of a, these. It's a palate cleanser from the from the fridge. Did, do you open it right away or immediately? You immediately yeah. open it and. You gotta get that cold carbon and blast. Drink. Okay, so you want a cold carbon blast. Is it, is You're preparing it? your throat. Yes. Essentially. And tongue. And then I and noticed, nasal. before you go any further, I noticed that you brought over a half of a paper towel here. Yeah. And you folded that over. Pours in. Pours, pours in. Pours the paper okay, towel. Okay, so I'm not sure if the viewers are gonna be able to appreciate that there's a porous side. Ah, yeah, yeah. Let's see that and a non-porous side and he's saying that he goes pours in meaning you fold the porous side yep. in right and why is that because i want a slow absorption rate i just can't imagine that there's any real scientific foundation behind that there is because I think that the saturation rate's going to be the okay, same so should we show the viewers what i'm talking oh, you're about you're going to experiment so wait, so you could wait just so we get the the terms of the experiment right. You're saying that pours in is going to protect the counter or what? No, it's just going to help me. So focus in on the drop, not my finger. Right, the drop. Okay, there's the liquid, 
and the liquid has dropped onto the paper towel, pours in. And I don't know what are you talking about, a timing thing? Yeah, okay. So, so or how deep it, doesn't absorb, it penetrates it doesn't absorb as into. Fast. All right, now. So it was slower. Is your right. point? Wait, 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 what are you doing? So now we're going to go. It has to be equal. I am. I'm doing it right next to it so you can see. No, no, no. But you have to have dual, dual ply. Oh, the ply doesn't matter. The ply. Ply doesn't matter. But okay, we'll go dual. I would think the ply would matter. So now All right. it pours mm -hmm. out. Like twice as fast. Well, I must say, it's yeah. hard for me to deny that that seemed, appeared. Right. It appeared to, but look, look at the puddling. And look at the size difference. It's still. Do you see that puddling? I do. Look at the size difference. I mean, I think that it Between actually one drop. probably absorbed at the same rate. No. Look how it's how much faster. The other one didn't puddle though. Look what's going on. It's twice the size. That's how you fill So wait, 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 what do you mean? A little quick, uh, you just skipped over something. Quick cleanup of what? Just in case I got a little on my finger while I was screwing it in. You know, this juice has a way of just getting out, doesn't it? Well, you're dealing with liquid and holes. And when you deal with liquid and holes, <laughs> it leaks. <laughs> so, that's funny. So this business, you're saying, is a business of liquids and holes? This is purely a business of liquids and holes. And so that's why there's, there are messes, potentials, oh, yeah. potential for messes. You need paper towel. Now, is this one of the liquids you're including in the liquids and holes? In this hole. <laughs> Hey there. I was hanging out with this dude who was puffing on one of those. Yeah. yeah something kind of like that. Hanging out at his house. He was puffing on it, puffing on it, and all of a sudden it exploded into a huge ball of fire. Really? And, saw that first and one? burned his face completely off. He's blind. He's currently blind. A huge fireball ripped his face up in the acid. See, the, the blindness, the, his eyes could have been saved. Because, you know, he got some eyelids. But the acid seeped and spat and like lava, volcano explosion ate right into his eye sockets. Wow. Yep, the acid. It's all about battery safety. So, uh, you gotta know what you're doing with these things. It's not a toy. Are you teaching these people how not to blow their faces yeah, off? Absolutely. I don't carry anything that they can blow their faces off. So you're way low. You're generating the same kind of vapor that you're doing testing. So I can put one of these on this? You could. Um, well, that one actually is a variable wattage on the bottom. Twists. What's going on? Dad's hiding. Doesn't want us. Sudden thunderstorm swept in and soaked the tortoise to the skin. And it's going to be good. Oh, that doesn't look though, too enthused. <laughs> we'll see. He doesn't look too happy with this. It might be. Why did he he take felt it? safe in his shell, didn't he? Why did he take off his shell? I don't know. Did he want to be free? Remember, he wanted to be free.
Why won't you eat this? Because he's not grateful. I think it is a show of ingratitude. I agree with that. Too That's much, what happened. Too I got too juice. much meat and not enough pasta. So all you need, I think we can fix this. So that you cannot be accused of ingratitude. And I know you don't want to be accused of that, right? I'm Paul too. What we're going to do... <laughs> See now, you should be able to balance it out. Huh? We got to have a pasta plus and a chicken for each bite. That's totally symmetrical. Look at that. Your mom's upset. He's not going to be forced to eat in front of the camera. You upset? No. But, you know, in order to eat in front of the camera, you have to humble yourself. You do. And let's see, so again, so now we have... Pride. We have pride. We had ingratitude, and that's still on the table. And without question. <laughs> Pride in the mix. Pride goes before all. What is it? Well, I know what it is. Okay. It's a question of what it is. <laughs> what it is. Where are you heading? You don't. Where are you, you going? You don't. You. You don't want. Where you, are you going? You, you don't even want me to go where I'm going. <laughs> I, I don't. You're right. I don't want you to go where you're going. I know, so you better turn that camera off. Continue on this course of pride. <laughs> you better turn the camera off. <laughs> you might not have a camera anymore. <laughs> you will. <laughs> you're laughing now, but that would be wrong. And then you would be guilty not only of ingratitude, <laughs> And pride, pride. But of lack of self control. But of total lack of self control. And disrespect. Disrespectful of my property, individuality, my right. Right? What are you being right now? I'm not I'm I'm simply observing. Documenting a situation. And my goal is to help you is, out. Is to get me is upset. Is to help you out. <laughs> help you to have a spirit of humility. You know, Mom, you just try to help. In this world, try to do a little help. Some people don't and want run help. into a lot of grief. Some people don't want help. And then, then, then you're the bad guy for wanting to help. Oh, who won? I Nobody won. won. You won. Nobody won. Everybody won. He said, I'm so slow. I think I'm going to take off with this shell and see if I can go faster because it was so large and heavy. Remember? It fell off and he said, hooray, now I've been freed. Notice this. What's happening over here? We recycle them. I saw those. these bottles and they've been, looks like somebody's smashed them. I just put them underfoot. <clears throat> no, we just put, try to get all the air out of it. We go like this. You do an underarm? Underarm squish. But, but what's the point? Then that doesn't take up so much room in the bag that we're going to take to recycle. Is it that you don't want to recycle the air? Right. I want to get all the air out so that the air doesn't get recycled, right. just the plastic. You want him to put all these? Which he's he's been helping me all the time now. All this silverware, I want this Dishes. to go into here, into these, these areas here. I think you got enough forks. How many people live here? I 
seem to use them. Well, two people live here. Two people live here, and you have about 40 forks. Maybe it's because they're supposed to be handmade, and they're not handmade. Yeah. 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 I mean, there's rust all over the top of it, Mom. That's why it's cool. 49 cents. Mm -hmm. You used to make stuff in this country. No. You know, that's the spice made in Cincinnati. This ginger. Four different locations are making this ginger. Oh, there's a bee passing by. There's a bee passing by. He's in his game. I know, he might. <laughs> okay. I decided I didn't care about your recommendation either way. My eyes. Get this, you know, well, co coconut element just coming out of nowhere. These coconut just water. straight from straight taking you into the jungle then, and you can find even more energy in there. You're about to be disappointed. About to be disappointed. There's no okay. flavor to it at all. Oh no, you're not gonna take my blankie. I want my blankie. <laughs> it's my blankie, isn't it? It's my blankie. Oh, I think it's my blankie. It's my blankie. It's oh. my toilet oh, blankie. Oh, it's my blankie. It's my toilet blankie. Oh, it's Uncle Chris. Hey. Uh Hi. <laughs> what do you got there? A, a hot sack. Oh, thank God. I was making. Oh, thank God. 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 Oh, thank my scars. I'm not gonna smoke in here. Well, I know that, but I'm gonna look at it quick because she's getting ready to eat. Thank you. Glad you can meet her. Oh.